Hello everyone, and welcome back to Anime Casuals. Have you ever had a thought, or a sudden query just before you fell asleep? Or maybe a shower thought about why unicorns can't exist? Well, Heaven's Design Team is here to answer all of these questions and more. Heaven's Design Team is an anime where a group of angels create new animals based on their clients' riddle-like requests. Oh yeah, and their client is Kami-sama, or I guess in English, God. They get handed all sorts of requests like eats only from high places, or an animal that's cute but not, or has not wings but flies anyways. Very cryptic kind of sentences, and they gotta continually adapt their designs until their client has accepted what they've created. Now, I respect the designers because they go through hell ha, 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 trying to make their designs fit into the client's wishes while also making sure that the creature can survive in Earth's environment. Because that does matter. They're just not making magic and saying that every creature gets to exist, but they actually think about the cold hard facts about how animals need to exist under Earth's environment. And this is where the really fun part of the anime comes in you get to see the design team struggle to refine their designs and adjust them with their engineer to create real animals and then describe why they work or why they don't. For example, let's look at a riddle from the first episode. The riddle is an animal that can eat leaves that are really high up. Let's dive into what actually happens. So the designers first compete to make a design that fits the client's request best. Then the designs are gathered up and handed off to engineering. The engineer then builds these designs, the animals, and tells our designers why they will work or why they won't. In this case, only one of them gets picked. So this process of creating animals is called prototyping, which is actually what real designers today use when they make different products. Then we as the audience get to see what works with the design and what doesn't. In this case, they are making a long neck deer, which suffers many different problems because all they did was increase the length of its neck. So a deer is not meant to survive with just a really long neck. So they go through, they refine it, they edit it before it finally becomes the giraffe. Now if you didn't get that, <gasps> surprise! <laughs> the animal that can eat leaves really high up is a giraffe. This show really makes you appreciate the way animals are built, all the way from the ground up. It really shows exactly in how an animal is built to survive the conditions it's placed in, and how it battles the environments of Earth every day. And it really speaks to the human designs that are made every day because I know we've all had moments where we have great ideas that don't work immediately and then they're slowly refined either on our own or with the help of our friends or co-workers to make something truly wonderful. This anime is such a unique and interesting concept I binged watched the entire season in 48 hours. If you are an animal lover or highly interested in the way things work, this is a perfect anime for you. For everyone else, this is an amazing casual anime to relax to. You can just sit there and watch how different animals are built from the ground up and how these designers get from their strange riddles and sentences to the final end bit. Well, that's been Heaven's Design Team and I've been Michael. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps us out as we continue to build up our channel. And as always, keep it casual. Ready? Knocks and box, fox and socks. Knocks on fox and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box. Fox and socks on box and knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and then blocks and clocks come.